Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds having confronted Yuga at the top of Hyrule Castle and ending up following him over into the world of Lowell with all seven sages kidnapped turned into portraits he used their power to become one with Ganon it seems and gain the Triforce of Powers along with it. It's quite horrible, quite terrible. But well, we're being ushered along to Hyrule right now. All our dungeons are here in Lower with the sages paintings scattered around. Now, how do I get this treasure chest? It's so much to kind of explain at the start of an episode, but the puzzle, it seems, isn't that hard. Not hard at all. Let's get round there and open up the crack in the wall. Though, of course, also... Oh, wrong button. We want to use that one. The bombs, not the hookshot. Break our way through. Let's find out what this treasure chest is. Of course, now that we're in this other world, our search for Gully can begin again. After all, when Link was unconscious and the blacksmith wife saved him, we did- we got a bottle? What? We got four bottles already? But yeah, Link did mention Gully's name, so we could go look for him first and foremost at where he was, or at least where he left the pouch. That would be the most logical place to check. Let's sort out the bottles as well, of course. Make sure they're all in nice, one neat row, but... Does that mean we've got all the bottles already as well? Hello, like likes. Hello, suspicious grass. You're, yeah, you're all set in like an order like that. I mean, obviously the middle one's got to have something in it. Grass all clumped together is always suspicious. Let's get on with the episode, as it were. Us brothers will be taking this here treasure, unless you be dashing. You may as well go home now. Treasure, you say? And what we got going on here? We've got grates we need to dash, supposedly, and there's no way to merge past them. So well that said, well that said just kind of cheat. We gotta go past two grates. Bombs can activate switches. Okay, we need to do this one as well. We may as well get a little bit of a head start on things. And if we walk carefully, and then dash at long points, we might be able to make it, eh? That's not going too badly. I don't, how's it I'm not being fast enough? I'm never not being fast enough. Well, you see, if you take it patiently around corners and stuff, but considering the structure of the pyramid, you kind of knew something bad would be happening with the edges, and the fact that we have to stop, so bombs are going to enable us some starting control. Then it's about, see, ah, oh, where we're going, and there's another grate up there. So, everything was going so well at that moment. So, so, so. Yes, I notice when I'm saying words too much, or certain, you know, combinations. Ah! Let's make it through, make the dash up here nice and safe. We'll dash this way next. There we go. Are we at the top already? Looks like it. You got a gold rupee. It's worth 300. Unbelievable. Man, that's a nice dash you got there. It is indeed. That's a nice dash you got there. Why, thank you. Well, no problemo. Your puzzles are not enough for me, sirs. I'll break through them and take your rupees. Let's head over to where we last saw Gully. There's got to be something in there as well. We just need, ow, two hearts worth of damage. We just got to find some way to be able to kind of open it up on top of that. Some kind of really, well, power glove versus the power bracer. It's that kind of thing. Oh, I am slightly wondering what's with the, the roundness of this floor. Well, nothing, it seems, it turns out. Maybe it's a diggable spot, I don't know, but with those hearts, we get our sword beams, we're cool. And there's a place to merge over here. Oh, man, you nearly got me, didn't you? Just getting down the sword beams is all cool, or we put out the flame as well, by the look of it. Right, a treasure chest up here. Some rocks. Another merge point, a Mai Mai. So it seems we've got a little bit of merging to do, maybe it can get us new areas. So, even though it said for us to go back to Hyrule, and I said, no, let's explore, there's Karako and there's Gully's place. Seems we ended up doing such anyway. Right, there's got to be something here as well, and a cave? Man. Now, how's all this going to work? Maybe jump off the ledge. Oh, better be holding Cuckoo too, right? That's part as important. Yeah, then that treasure will be mine. What treasure? Mind you, do we really need to treasure hunt right now? We've got tons of rupees. We, we may as well just not do it and come back when we need some more, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a shot. Oh, I doubt my ability to get through it so nicely, if you know what I mean. But, I got myself down no matter what. 100 rupees is mine. I'll take that. Ah, gushed away. 
Well, there's more treasure to get here, but the 100 rupees has got. Well, I worked out the coupon part, but it's too bad I get all sneezy around feathers. Well, that worked really well. I'm amazed I made it down first time. There was, like, levels of the thing, but... Cool. Maybe I'm good at some things. Well, there's a way back into low rule. And it's in the same position as the high up bit was, so... That said, do we get to the place we want to be? Well, I, I think I can hook shot over there in a diagonal. But to get the Mai Mai, aren't we going to have to come back again because there's no way back over? Yes, we are. So, through it again. It's on the higher wall, so we're going to have to go all the way around and pop it off. The irritating bits of Mai Mai is Mai Mai, I hate you. Right then, back through. We've only got 3,000 rupees now, so I'm kind of justified in saying, yeah, maybe we don't do the treasure things anymore, but they're interesting puzzles themselves. Pop! Thank you, Mai Mai. You are ours. I rescued you. It's all not good. Aren't I a good boy? That brings us up to 10 of them total. Let's dash over here and try to find Gully, eh? If he's in here at all. Hello? Seems something else is here instead. Some kind of... Oh, Mai Mai. I'll take you. What's going on here? Octoball Derby. Hit a crab to reset the pots. If you hit three pots in a row, a bird will fly across the field. Get at least 100 rupees to earn a healthy prize. Okay. Hey, bada bada bada. Welcome to the Octoball Derby. It's 50 rupees. We've got ourselves a mini game. So give us a couple of tries on that. Unless I can get the prize first time. That'd be amazing. Let's hope my cuckoo luck kind of holds. So A is to swing. So I guess where it goes is based on the timing overall. There we go. There's three. We hit the bird, no problem. Let's lean back. Oh, hit some really high, far away ones here. There's another three and a bird. Oh, we're not going to get you at this rate. Oh, we did get the bird. Brilliant. And we replaced all the pots, it seems, by hitting the crabs. But they're gone away now. That's not so good. I kind of want the crabs around to be able to reset things when I need to. There's another bird. Hit you as well. Brilliant. Let's go up high once more. Ah, oh, got to try hitting three in a row. It seems to be the profitable way to do things. That's a nice shot. That's not a bad shot either. Ah, oh, right into the clear. Not good. Right, across the ground. Ah, oh, missed again. We need to hit either that big pot. No, we need to hit three in a row. Oh, you fire one back if I hit you too harsh. Okay, there's one. Ah, oh, man, I need to hit... Ah. Oh. I don't think I'm going to reach it this time. Oh, nicely bounced. But no last hit. 77 rupees on that first one. I think I need to hit the crabs at my own time there. Hmm. Well, we made a profit. Let's give it another go for that 100, eh? Because I really want to get it. See what the prize is. If it's a hard piece at this point in time, we'll get ourselves another hard container after all. Should we go high first? There we go, right through the middle. To the side. And then, oh, I thought a fast hit would do it better. Like that. Oh, straight down. That's not what we want. Right, one on the ground. There we go, another one. Oh, I hit the crap. Well, there's the bird again. Seems the bird is the most important part of this. So let's go up high again. Oh, into the clear space! How could I? Quite easily, it seems. Man! By the fact I know how things are working now, it seems that like I'm doing even worse than I was. In fact, pitching it over the ones I want to hit? My swing's gone completely off. My beginner's luck is fading quite fast. There we go, hit the one on the far edge. Try to leave them for later, but it doesn't seem to be working that well for me. I either leave it till really late and hit nothing. See the same spot I can hit every time. Just trying to hit those ones on the left. The left and the right, the middle ones are fairly easy. Only 34 rupees this time? This is my frustration right now. One more try, I say. Right then, 34 rupees indeed. I think we've made a net gain just about, but
but only just. We don't want to hit the crabs early. Fire, sir. Right, one up there. Nearly hit the five rupee one. Okay, we got three in a row. And there's the bird. Oh, I missed completely. That's not good, but we didn't start a free chain, so that's not bad either. There's one. Oh, I hit the crab. Definitely not what I wanted to do, but the bird's back again. There's another 20 rupees. Alright, one. One. Hit the crab. Not again what I wanted to do, but there's another bird. And there's the pot, so five rupees there. Straight down the middle, not good. Alright, we need to hit. Yeah, that's good. No, down that one. All right, we need to hit another bird, really. That's what our goal is right now. Another bird. Good. Right, one more hit. Uh, uh one more hit and we're sorted. And now I'm going to miss the... Oh, it's going to happen. There we go, 100. 101. Uh, not 102. Whoop, bada bada. 101. We just barely made it on the third try. So what is our prize for hitting 101? We managed to break the 100 barrier. Okay, let's see, you got 101 rupees. Who are we? You hit the 100 rupee mark. Nice job, kid. Give me a quick second, I'll grab you something special for that effort. It was effort. We had to play three times, you know. Here's your prize for hitting the 100 rupee mark. We got ourselves a piece of heart. You've earned a heart container. Thank you, sir. I'm fresh out of prizes, but come back and play whenever you want. Mini game done. Eighth heart container found. Good start to our exploration of low rule, I'd say. It seems we can turn off all the torches around here. Why is it so torchy anyway? Torch orientated lands? I don't understand. I wonder if I can find some more Mai Mai's around here. Oh, it can't go, can't go around there, that's for sure. So, with that said and done, let's get exploring some more, though. There's no way through there. Wait, what was that? You can go away for a start. I'm wondering what this is. Bomb flower store? Yeah, you're telling me. I thought I saw a big bomb. Highly interesting, that's for sure. Let's end all you and find out what... Whoa. Not much going on past this path, so should we go in the bomb flower store, see what's going on? Get ourselves some more items, eh? Yo ho ho, who is that who goes? Friend or foe, who is it? Do I know? Have you seen Gully anywhere? For bombs, you seem to be searching. Well, then lead me to my researching. What I can sell you now is n -n -n nothing. Sorry, I can get more for you, mutton. That was not. He's a rapper, isn't he? Buh -buh -buh -buh. I want the big bomb flower. Lucky you, I'm lending that power for a one time fee. Use it for hours and hours. Oh, yeah, the big bomb flower. Want to know about its power? Yeah, sure. The flower blooming in the garden is really a bomb, and it's a total bargain. Can I pick it up? Just go on and touch it. It'll be a flower. <laughs> I don't know. Follow the flowering boom. I don't know. Big bomb flower. Gonna make big boulders go boom. I still haven't got started there because I'm a bit worried I can cat picture it, pick it up. But be careful, you know. Just a slightest scratch will make it implode. This big flower is only found here. If you're interested, kid, you want to get near. Can I just take it whenever I want? Right. How much does it cost? 200 rupees. Okay then, try it on taking for a ride, you say? Don't give me any flack, big bomb flower always grows back. So now that we've rented it, in a sense, we can always pick it up. It follows us? And then I just set it off by hitting it? Okay, this is weirdos. I don't want to hit it then, that's for sure. Um, oh, well, my mind. That wasn't that bad of an idea. Bit freeze there where we picked it up. I think the game was going air. What's going on as well? Can I use you to block big boulders like that? No. So now we've kind of tested its limits. One scratch will set this bomb off, which is not something I'm looking forward to. Let's take you around here, however, and blow up this one. Right then, big bomb flower, you always grow back 200 rupees. I'm quite fine with that, Rental. As we get ourselves 100 rupees back for our trouble. There's still no way to deal with whatever that is. 
Maybe it's just a rock and it'll always be a rock. I don't know for now, but Big Bomb Flower, always come back. And we need you for some more exploding, that's for sure. As the game's loading. Come with me, Big Bomb Flower. I definitely saw something this away. I was slightly wondering about... Big Bomb Flower, you not come? Keep walking with me, it's cool. I'm just trying to take the ropers out from range so you don't get anywhere near Big Bomb Flower. You're my friend. Me and him are best of buds, you know. Well, I'll take this, and that, and... Set you to work, excuse me. It's gonna be a big explosion. I don't want to be anywhere near it when it goes off, that's for sure. Where are we now? A fairy locale. And that guy's got me ru great rupee fairy. Throw rupees in the fountain. Oh. What happens if I throw 200? I thank you for your small kindness. Only a small one? I wonder what what to do here. I guess I gotta chuck some more. Unless this is the great <laughs> big fairy rupee con of 2013. We know that they remember doing it in Link to the Past, so let's be really mean, you know what I mean? A small token of gratitude? No, a small token of gratitude comes my way, what is it? I'm not quite sure what it is I obtained, but there's a fairy over there. Is that what you meant? I'm not sure, did my... I thought for a second my power bar kind of changed. What on earth just happened? Right, that's a question in itself. What did I just pay the rupees for? Hmm. Maybe it's in gear. I can't see anything special. What did the fairy do? If someone would tell me, that would be brilliant. Right, out we go. Should I keep giving her rupees or not? That's really the question I get down to. Right, so this should lead us back round to near the blacksmith's house, from this side anyway. But it seems the blacksmith's place is a bit overrun still with monsters all around. I was wondering if there was a Mai Mai in that grass, but we've made it to Calico Town. There's nothing but a ghost town now it seems. What's going on in here? The treasure chesty shop? Hello, sir! If you're looking for some easy treasure, you're in the right spot. I call this fortune's choice. For 200 rupees, you can open any free treasure chest. Your choice, maybe fortune, maybe not. Mighty, ah, oh, peace of heart. Now you've got me. Didn't I get this one 100% in the first go and a link to the past? Let's hope that luck kind of continues. Well, this episode hasn't been that bad. Go on now, open up any free. You can't go wrong. <laughs> well, you can't go wrong, you say. Well, that's a green rupee. That's some monster guts. Will my luck be here? Well, I'd say that's fairly lucky. I didn't get the piece of heart, but didn't I end up with a bit more rupees? Come again, you say? I'll try again. I ended up with net gain, don't you know? Can't complain about when you're failing. You're actually winning in some way. Monster tell. I guess you can use this to get lots of items, really. A green rupee. That didn't work out too well for me. Ah, now the heart piece was down the bottom right. Let's give it one more go. Come on, let the luck happen. I wonder how much rupees I'm going to plug into this. There we go. The luck is mine. Third time lucky. Same with the baseball game. And we can even get a little bit of the money back, eh? A monster tail on top of that. All I care about was that heart piece. Now that we're done with that, we're out of here. Two hot pieces so far this episode. Who knows if we might bump into another. I doubt it very much, but still. Let's continue checking out town. Hello, sir. This is the milk bar down here, isn't it? Oh, you're actually a cuckoo. Okay, you're not a bad guy, but you're like some kind of dark cuckoo or something. I don't know. It's weird enough as is. Hello. Here I am working for the royal family. As if it weren't their fault, things have fallen apart. Look around, kiddo. It's all thieves and creepy mass folks in this village. There's nothing royal about this place. But is Gully here? That's what we want to know. What do you want, scram brat? What with all the monsters running around, more and more folks are taking refuge in here. Customers everywhere. It really gets my goat. I just want to drink a little bit of milk in peace. Why can't anyone just leave me alone and scram? How dare you make money, sir? Met the boss of our little village here? Haha. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't waste time on someone like you. He's busy stashing away that new paint he's got. Ooh, thing must be worth a fortune. 
If that thief girl knows where it is, she best keep her trap shut unless she wants to tell me where it is. Ha <laughs> ha! That whole thing kind of inspired me. Want to hear my latest ditty? Ho ho, wrong place, wrong time. The boss will be glad to put you back in line. The smart thief fears the boss's wrath. I'd rather be on a cliff walking a narrow path. Sure, are you the thief girl? I don't know. Young woman, poor little cuckoos, their coop got all smashed up. All that's left is these eggs. Don't worry, little eggies. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. I can help with the eggs, maybe. Hey, think I look strong? Sure, you look strong. You lying? Because your ears twitch real funny there. Mine do all that time when I lie. They twitch all the time. Anyway, I may not look it, but I'm a regular at the Treacherous Tower. Is your ears twitching yet? What do you mean you've never heard of the Treacherous Tower? Well, you know Death Mountain? It's right on top of that. It's where all the tough guys go for fun. For funsies, you say? But then you say you lie all the time. I didn't see your ears twitch, however. You're not a cuckoo, and you're not a vulture. It looks kind of like vulture-esque, but... There doesn't seem to be any my mice around town at the moment, that's for sure. Let's head into this building and find out what's going on. Hello, sir, who are you? Many years ago, I felt so free. Thought I chose the thief's life, but it really chose me. Every time I say I'm a-leaving, this accursed life sets me right back to thieving. Oh, hey there, little guy. Sorry, I was just singing out loud. It's an old tune. You probably wouldn't know it. What do you think of this place? A little too rough for you, huh? I don't mind it so much. At least there's still a strong musical culture in this town. It's a tradition with us. I'm sure it is, but... No goodies makes me unhappy. So, entering this kind of ghost town full of thieves and the whatnot, and moblin types, those sword and shield, that doesn't leave me all that thinking of goodness. It works if I drop him on a bomb, though, and knock him back constantly. Though, a place to head back to Hyrule over there, it's interesting as well. We found ourselves the hideout entrance. Though getting into it might prove difficult. So with that said, tune in next time for more Legend of Zelda and Link Between Worlds as we try to find our way into this dungeon if we can. Bye bye